Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out new products again. So I tried recording this video earlier in the week, but I was just so rushed and I had plans to do, so I just stopped in the middle of the video and I didn't even finish reviewing what I thought, my opinions, and throughout the day, I really didn't even pay attention to the product so i'm gonna do this video all over again so if you guys are interested in watching what i think about these new products then just stay tuned so for the first product that i'll be trying out today it's gonna be the new mac prep and prime fix plus and i'm trying the one in pink light i'm gonna prep my skin with this one and just spray it all over my face it does say to shake it just because i think it has like litter litter little shimmers in there You can see kind of that like pink shimmery on the skin, but it's not anything crazy. It just looks like a normal facial spray. I'm just gonna let that dry for a few minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, moving on to the second product. This is another primer and this is the famous Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this all over YouTube as well. I was really intrigued by it just because of how it looks and like the texture. It says it blurs the look of pores, fine lines, and uneven, uneven skin tone. Primes with silk powder for long lasting flawless makeup. Protects skin from makeup and pollution. Color corrects with a universal shade for a healthy soft focus glow. Anti-aging Japanese superfoods help restore the look of youthful radiance. So I'm just gonna scoop it up with the spatula. Gonna grab that much and just grab it with the finger. And a little bit goes a long way. Like you can see what I grabbed. Is gonna cover my whole face. Oh, and it smells really good. It has like this fresh, clean smell to it. And it feels very, very silky. So I'm just pushing that into the skin. And again, with this primer, I'm gonna just let it sit for about two minutes. And then I'll be back to show you guys the next product. I'm moving on to the foundation. For this product, I'm gonna be trying out the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. This is the packaging. And again, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this all over YouTube. It is very hyped as well. Um, and this product is not as new. Some of these products are not new new, um, but they're new for me because I want to try them out. So I'm going to start drawing lines all over my face. I never really like to go in with my exact shade because I'll look super pale. I'm going to go over the areas where um, I need a little bit of more coverage. I'm thinking one side of the face I'm going to blend out with a brush and I'm going to use the Morphe M439 and then on the other side I'm just going to use a damp beauty blender. So I'm going to go in with the brush, just going to blend that out. It's not super full coverage. Like I could still see some redness peeking through right here. I do have like these little um, birthmarks right here and they're not covered, but I actually don't mind it. I'm gonna move on to blending it out with the Beauty Blender on the other side and see how it will look with this.
Honestly, guys, I didn't see a difference between the brush and the beauty blender. I don't know if you guys see a difference. Um, but I think it did the same amount of coverage on both sides. But I am going to go in with another layer. Especially on the areas that I still see some redness and not much coverage. Like right here and a little bit on my nose. I'm just going to blend it in with the beauty blender since it adds a little bit of moisture to the skin. It, it is giving me at least more of a matte finish, but honestly, I, I like it. I don't have any complaints for it. I'm gonna move on to concealer. I don't have a new concealer to use, so I'm just gonna go in with the Maybelline H Rewind um, concealer, and I'm probably just gonna speed through this process, or maybe just skip on to the next product because you guys have seen me use this concealer before. All right, guys. So I went ahead and finished up the rest of my makeup just because I don't have any new products to try out as far as like eyebrow, um, concealers, powders, things like that. I'm going to move on to highlight. Now this highlight palette is from Sam Marcel Paris and it came in this really, really nice packaging and the packaging is suede, which I thought was very pretty for the packaging. So when you get the palette out of the packaging, it's this very chic palette. And these are the highlighters. So I went to their website and I was just scrolling around their website, seeing what products they had. I was seeing some reviews on this palette and it looked like they were pretty good. I'm going to do this swatch right here. And that's what it looks like. They feel really smooth and very creamy so far. I'm going to try that middle shade. I'm going to try this pink shade right here. And those are the swatches. I don't know if you guys can see. They're very um, subtle. They're not anything like blinding, but they do feel very, very smooth. I'm gonna grab a clean highlighter brush, and this is one from BH Cosmetics. You can use any brush to highlight. And I'm gonna use the shade Cream, which is this shade right here. And I'm gonna highlight. Whoa, that looks really pretty. It feels really, really smooth. Like I said, they are very subtle. Um, so it's not like a blinding highlight. I don't know why you could see it better on that side than this side. I'm gonna do Cooper's Foil. Seeing it up close, it is a really nice highlight. The more you pack it on, the more it pops. And what I like about it is that it's not looking chalky. Like with other with other highlighters, the more you apply it, the more chalky it looks. Um, but this one, I just keep applying it, and it just feels super super smooth. Whoa, I'm really impressed with this highlighting palette. Um, I mean, you got all type of shades too for other skin tones. I mean, this is the this is the darkest one right here. But I mean, you got your pinks, your beige, and like your more yellowish tone highlighters up here. But yeah, I'm really impressed so far with this. All right, guys, moving on to the lips. I am gonna try a new product out for the lips, except for the lip liner. I did go ahead and lip line lip line. I did go ahead and just outlined my lips with the NYX nude beige lip pencil which is just a really nude color and for this product I am gonna try out the same brand from the highlight palette Saint Marcel 
And this is their packaging again. It's very, it's this very suede material. So I got three shades in their Luxurious Liquid Lipsticks. So the three shades that I got were Claudine, which is this very like nude color. The next shade I got is Rouge, which is a very red. And the third color I got was Bijou. Bijou? I don't know. And it's this more like purpley reddish color. For this occasion, and especially for the eye color, I'm gonna go in with Claudine, which is the more nude shade. It doesn't have a crazy smell. It just smells like lipstick. Wow. It's a very strong nude color. It feels very, very liquidy, but I'm guessing it's gonna dry to like a matte finish. It's really pretty though, I like it. So, so far my final thoughts on these products. I think there's not one product that I did not like. Um, as far as the MAC uh, Prep and Prime spray, especially for the first time using it, I primed my face with it and I set with it as well and I really like the finish of it. As far as the Tatcha Silk and Canvas Primer, I really love this. I love how a little bit goes a long way and I love the feel of it as well. It feels super silky on your skin. I would recommend letting it sit a little bit on your face before going straight in with foundation or anything just because it's very silky and you just have to wait till your skin absorbs it. Um, I don't have any complaints about the Hourglass Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. Um, I like it as well. Um, I would say though, it's not full coverage. I really didn't try to build it up that much, but I wouldn't consider it to be full coverage, but the finish of it is really, really pretty. So I definitely will be using this foundation again. As far as the Sam Marcel brand, so far I'm really impressed with their highlight palette as well as with their liquid lipstick. Like I said, I was really impressed with the payoff, the powders are very smooth and silky. I really, really am impressed with this palette. I would say though that you would have to build it up. I believe when I first went in with the brush the first time, it really didn't pop up or pop out as much, but just building it up did make a huge difference. Like you could tell on camera now um, how it, is brightening my face with the liquid lipstick i really like it so far i really really love the shade i mean i love these nudie shades with any liquid lipstick it is drying out matte and it is drying out my lips but not anything too drying that i can't deal with but yeah, so far, I'm really impressed with that brand. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. If you guys have any suggestions on what products you would like me to use, if you have any questions about these products that maybe I forgot to mention or I didn't cover, don't hesitate to leave it down in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more videos from me. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.